Hello, in this video I'm gonna continue showing you how to create GUIs in with using TKinter with Python 3 and in this case what we're gonna be creating is a follow-on from the previous one we're gonna have a welcome window and when we click OK we're gonna open our wages calculator which you've seen before if you've looked at my previous video and we have two entry boxes, a few labels, a couple of buttons we click calculate salary, it will give you your a little message your salary is 16 euro if we click back we close this window we go back to the previous one and if we click quick we stop it so how do we create this program these two GUIs we need to import tkinter we import it using the star character so we don't have to write tkinter all the time then if we go to the main what we are doing in the main down here is where we're creating a window and where we're creating that window of class welcome we enter the main loop and this is going to be the only loop that we're going to be running now we'll have a look at what the class welcome how it looks like the class welcome has a constructor where we're defining the dimensions the padding how far it is from the top and the left the title and the few labels or the labels sorry and a couple of buttons that we have each button has its method associated we have go to wages here that will create the second window and finish that will destroy the window now to create the second window we are not using tk anymore as we did earlier to create the first window we're using the command top level that is going to create a second window that is dependent on the first window. When we destroy the original window, all the windows that come after will be destroyed. So this command here will create the new window of class wages. If we have a look at how the class wages looks like, we're going to have again the constructor here, which will define how our window is going to look like. We have our dimensions, the title, a few labels, a few entry boxes that we've seen before and two buttons, the one calculate salary and the one to go back to the welcome window. The methods associated with the two buttons are going to be calculate salary and my quit. Calculate salary is going to use the variables that we have defined in the constructor, this n hours and salary h. They get their values from the entry boxes here salary h and n hours once we get the two i have a printout here just to print in the hours in the interpreter just to check the value and we calculate we multiply the number of hours times uh, the salary per hour and then we print the result in a label now the difference between this code and the one we used in the first example is that we're using in this case an object oriented approach where each window is a class and to refer to the variables or to any element basically on the GUI we are going to be adding the word self dot in this case label one or self dot salary h which means we're using that label of this particular or a part of a particular instance of that this class wages the same with the variables the salary h variable of the instance of the window uh, once we're done with the calculating the salary when we click quick my quit in this case we destroy this particular window and that will take us back to our main loop which is the welcome window and we'll stay there until we click quit that will destroy the master window have a look at it in action again we have our TK window that is the one controlling the whole process when we click OK we open our top level window we could open as many windows as we want we have our entry boxes different values calculate salary the functionality is the same as in the other one back closes that second window and goes back to the one with the main loop and when we quit this one here we're destroying exiting 
the loop that we entered down here in the main and if there was any code extra down here in the main it would then go on to execute those lines in our case where we don't have anything in there and all our functionality is in the buttons of the GUIs so I hope this helps and if you have any problem with creating the labels and buttons and so on maybe check the previous video with the non-object oriented approach thank you